Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and this is May 2018 reading. 10 card Celtic Cross. Uh, welcome to the channel guys. Uh, those of you who are returning subs subscribers and uh, guys thank you for your support. Uh, it really means a lot to me and uh, those of you who are new kindly subscribe if you like this uh, reading if it resonates with you so let's see what's coming up for Pisces Sun Moon Rising Pisces Sun Moon Rising okay we have trippers here actually there are quite of them so but I'm gonna take them uh, they are five flippers but uh, the center of this is the world card the world card is in the center so uh, something is coming to a close some chapter is ending and uh, it's the most significant uh, card here because it's in the middle uh, it's next to the death card which is here just next to it so something came to an end like uh, an ending happened uh, uh, with probably a fire sign Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or someone who who is quite um, charming, someone who is uh, enthusiastic, uh, someone who likes to be the center of attention uh, or they just command attention. Uh, you can, can be also dealing with a Gemini person. Uh, here so you had a choice or the, uh, this person that you are dealing with they have a choice to either spend uh, the rest of li uh, their life with you or uh, you have that choice um, and you are looking at the situation and you feel it has uh, come to an end like a cycle has come to an end uh, someone is uh, here uh, feeling very um, left out someone who is feeling uh, like they have a lot of uh, sorrow and sadness so they look quite um, depressed. This can be the uh, person that you are dealing with. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the flipper. Uh, I'll see the bottom of the deck. Yes, there has been some betrayal here. Guys, there has been some betrayal here. And let me just put this properly. But uh, you guys are coming out of betrayal because it is in reverse. So you m m might have felt a little bit betrayed uh, in the situation which has ended. Uh, but you are coming out of it slowly and uh, yes. So the cycle is coming to an end. So definitely a uh, ending and a new beginning probably. Uh, let's see what's uh, because some of you are still stuck and crying over it so let's see what are the energies coming in for the sign of pisces sun moon rising for the month of may 2018 for the month of may 2018 what are the messages coming in for the sign of pisces okay so we have a flipper uh, some truth has been spoken someone has communicated a truth uh, and there was some new opportunity like that had uh, that was an ace of swords now this is ace of pentacles so some uh, new opportunity or something that needed to be um, uh, started something that was just uh, like this is the ace so something needed to be started or something ha uh, needs to be started here because um, uh, we have the chariot here so something uh, needs to be taken uh, by both the hands so you need to be ready to uh, grab a opportunity it can be a new job a job or something materialistic you need to uh, move forward uh, with full uh, force towards manifesting it my nose is always itchy i think uh, because i leave my hair open so some of <laughs> some of the time it's because of that my hair is always like moving here and there i'm okay i'm not gonna fidget now sorry guys i'm just gonna focus on the reading so let's begin let's oh, just one last shuffle and we'll begin 
what are the messages coming in for the sign of Pisces Sun Moon rising for the month of May 2018 some of you are focused on your finances uh, some of you are dealing with a earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn some of you are focused on self love and uh, nurturing Pisces So Pisces, there has been a heartbreak. Uh, bottom of the deck, the general energy for me is that uh, you feel heartbroken. Uh, we already had a betrayal card. We already had a uh, death card. We already had a world card. Uh, so that just means that uh, something didn't work out. And uh, because of the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, you need some clarity. You need some truth. You need some grounding. Uh, someone has spoken the truth or some it can also be a three party situation something has come to light it has literally pierced your heart and uh, so that is where we are beginning below it you have the uh, judgment card so someone decided like someone made a call like uh, someone had to forgive the situation forget the situation uh, in order to uh, rise above the conflict and the uh, whatever that was surrounding everything could have been with the earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn some uh, judgment call was made uh, like uh, it was uh, forced upon you because it's a major arcana now let's see what is the uh, heart of the reading heart of the reading is uh, five of wands so you feel um, you feel distracted, you feel restless, you feel uh, you feel attacked, you feel people are just uh, uh, you feel that people are just throwing their stuff on you and their uh, uh, whatever is coming in anybody's mind, they are putting it on you and uh, uh, which is interfering with your uh, alignment uh, this can also be that uh, you are uh, getting distracted by uh, various uh, things in your life. Um, your energies are not focused and channeled well. Uh, yes. Uh, what's challenging you is again the same card that flipped out which is the five of cups. So the challenge for you for the month of May is that uh, there has been a there has been a heartbreak and you are uh, grieving it. You are uh, trying to get over it. Uh, trying to get past it there were there are some emotions that you are uh, focused on you regret or you have some sad feeling about a certain situation which is coming up as your challenge which is probably why you are distracted right now uh, you you are you are restless you you are twisting and turning uh, but uh, bottom of, sorry root of the reading is the wheel of fortune so probably uh, in some way luck is on your side uh, guys I believe luck is always on your side because uh, if it's uh, a very bad phase of your life then as you can see here there is darkness but there is this owl here and owl is uh, one of the most intelligent and wise bird so when you are going through your darkest phase of your life um, you gain some wisdom so this wheel is always turning so after some time when the wheel has turn and there is uh, sun here when the sun comes out you are more wiser as a person and you uh, make a much more in, uh, uh, informed decisions and you take wise steps in your life so when the uh, when uh, morning arrives uh, you feel uh, strengthened because of your dark darker times now what I feel here is that we, with Wheel of Fortune here whatever happened was supposed to happen that was uh, a karmic uh, thing and uh, Wheel of Fortune is always turning so you cannot rush it it will uh, move in its own time uh, something is happening uh, which is happening which is taking its time and uh, you, you just have to be patient with it uh, in past you had new love uh, universe offered you new, new love and uh, it could be with a water sign like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and um, yes so uh, if you uh, had this then 
let's see where are you now right now you are in limbo you are stuck you don't know what to do you are uh, sacrificing you are making a sacrifice you are trying to uh, look at a, a certain uh, situation from a various perspective you are trying to understand it uh, you have put yourself in a very difficult position you feel that uh, you or uh, you have uh, like you have put yourself in a very difficult position in this entire thing and uh, you are uh, willingly making that sacrifice or you're just making that sacrifice because you want to understand the situation uh, it can also mean that you are withdrawing from the situation because the hangman is someone who goes in isolation and they uh, just uh, like look at this uh, bat like they are encased in like they are just hugging themselves like closing themselves off they don't want to um, fly anymore they just want to be by themselves so guys some of the cards just flipped out i'm just going to take them like i'm going to read them but i'm going to continue with whatever is in my hand so let's see what's the, what are the cards that flipped out so uh, there is uh, some uh, communication or someone is stalking or uh, there is something related to a uh, communication like someone wanted a victory but um, it requ uh, some communication requires uh, strength and bold boldness like someone needs to be bold and courageous to make a communication this is the card of uh, communication so someone is willing to communicate uh, but they are looking for a right moment to communicate what they have to say and they will require a lot of courage so this can be a leo person who is trying to uh, communicate or uh, and with this communication will come some sort of uh, victory or some sort of liberation like some like i was talking about the hangman so this is not flying this is someone deciding to uh, not take a flight they just uh, withdraw while while uh, here uh, this butterfly is all about like being liberated and stuff like that it can also mean that uh, you want to uh, you want to uh, it can also mean that it will take only a momentary strength to uh, make something possible like uh, you just need uh, a fraction of second or like it is said like you need just 6 seconds of courage to do the uh, amazing things in life you just need that 6 seconds of courage to uh, do something crazy and uh, something that you will uh, cherish for the rest of your life so don't be scared uh, be bold something of that sort so that would that would give you some victory now this is all in your mind because it's a uh, it's a crowning card now in future in future someone is not opening up someone is keeping uh, to themselves like again i said uh, you are keeping to yourself this can be you or someone around you i think it is you because you feel that you have uh, invested and you feel that you have lost so much and you have been struggling so much five uh, of cups and five of wands is a uh, very difficult energy to be in so you want to be in four of pentacles because you feel that that would make you more stable if you keep your feelings to yourself and if you keep closed off because you feel that is how you will able to uh, keep uh, some control in your life and you want to be stable so i think this is uh, your energy if it's not your energy you are dealing with someone who is uh, not opening up how you come up in your reading is as the mother of swords so pisces uh, i think it is going back to the reading when uh, you remember uh, if you guys are old uh, subscribers then back in november or uh, sometime november or december i think it was november you remember we were going through a phase where um, things were not going good for us and we had to become mother of sword to uh, to be harsh uh, like to embody that energy which is harsh and cutting which is uh, very very direct and uh, which speaks the truth you speak your truth basically so which speaks the truth even if it is uh, like uh, crude because uh, you you understand that uh, um, emotions are going to only betray you and they are not going to serve you because uh, look where are you coming from so you have already uh, been uh, like you have already uh, felt the burn so you wish that you um, uh, can do away with your emotions 
so uh, you are doing that like uh, you are not uh, listening to your emotions right now i think for some of you this is not a healthy thing to do you need to process your emotions and but because pisces is a very emotional sign so uh, it is very unnatural of you to uh, take this position in your life either people are seeing you like this or you are behaving like this so let's see in your surrounding someone has a decision to make or you, there is a decision around you that needs to be made someone is stuck again like someone around you is also uh, keeping you stuck because they are not making a decision but uh, let's see uh, we'll see what, why that that is when we'll clarify it's funny how some cards get repeated even though there are 70 78 cards in the deck some cards get repeated like this was the flipper i guess or the when i split the deck so your hopes and fear so in your hopes is that you can start something or you start building something or you wanted to build something you you wish that you could build something nurture something uh, and make it grow like a business or a friendship or a uh, idea or a dream but someone is closed off just next to it some energy is really really closed off someone is not uh, it's it's not uh, in flow but uh, sorry about the train guys but guys uh, with the nine of wands as the um, uh, outcome card i see here that you have been in a battle you have been tired of fighting a battle a non like it's an ending battle and you have been fighting your uh, way up and it has been challenging and you wish that there was more clarity and some um, some destination that you would reach after climbing so so much or being through so much so that that is your uh, overall energy now let's clarify okay so what is this five of wands why is pisces so distracted why is pisces so distracted may 2018 pisces sun moon rising why is pisces so distracted five of wands is being clarified by five of wands uh uh someone uh, is uh, researching someone is uh, uh, uh someone is trying to reveal you or someone is trying to bring you some information but they are not uh, revealing uh, their uh, self they are uh, they want to be uh, hidden they don't want to reveal uh, who they are or how what they want to say so something is like, uh, of that sort now five of wands being clarified by five of wands i think you are super exhausted as well because five of wands five of wands is ten of wands so you feel that uh, you have been working really really hard and uh, you are the only person who is working here uh, and the nobody is here to share the burden with you and you feel that uh, this thing has been uh, too long like it it the it has been very very long like uh, it's the snake here is too long I feel, I feel it's been so long like that and uh, yes you are tired of fighting look at this card so this card i don't think it's very clear but this uh, there is a girl here uh, which uh, she is stepping from one place to another and then one close to she's tired like she steps from here to here and then she sits here and sits there for a while and then she uh, steps here like jumps here and then she stays there for a while and she's thinking about something and then she keeps jumping and jumping and then she reaches here and she is still exhausted and she is just relaxing she wants like she is relaxing and she has a uh, arrows in her um, she has arrow and a bow and uh, she she has been uh, changing houses uh, and she has been clinging on to things uh, uh, in, uh, for that so that she doesn't fall and she has been taking her rest and she has been reading i also see here that she has Uh, some passion left so there is also some blessing that is coming upon her by the divine so if you are feeling uh, like you if you feel that you resonate with this uh, description then that is probably you, you but because i feel that you have been through uh, such snake and ladder snake and ladder situation you feel that you uh, are alone and you are better like that you have a pet here 
so you feel that it's better to be alone like sit alone and just uh, uh i don't know i don't know so yes and then uh, you are here you are uh, you are getting confused or people are looking at you and people see that you are uh, doing some uh, you know you are dancing or you are doing some uh, trick or you are doing some magic so people are just uh, keeping an eye on you everybody here is uh, wearing a mask uh, whatever party you are in uh, in the surrounding that you are everybody here is wearing a mask so you can be surround, surrounded uh, by a lot of people uh, who are uh, wearing mask and uh, uh, five of wands is also people talking about you and uh, it can be gossip as well it can be competition and it can be uh some uh, struggle uh, to get a, a job or like like in a pr promotion so uh, what is this five of uh, cups what is this disappointment about what is this disappointment about so pisces the disappointment is okay so this card where did it go okay so five of cups is you being uh, really low and sad is about some heartbreak like i already said that there has been a betrayal so you were drowned in your emotions and someone pulled you outside the ocean in fact to uh, betray you something of that sort like you you went out of your comfort zone to be betrayed or something like that you got lured into something like there like this whale i see like killing whale she is looking like she has come out of the water into the air uh, looking at the stars so you were probably hopeful about something and then you got betrayed or you felt betrayed you are moving away from something you are you are just uh, moving away to new newer or a calmer place you want to move to a calmer place uh, it could have like a 10 of a sword is an ending like a uh, 10 is a completion of a cycle here you have a 10 of pentacles as well so because these cards are coming up as a challenge i feel that uh, there was some uh, some family related something that you wanted or something uh, related to kids or uh, joint finances uh, which didn't work out and it made you emotionally very um, dejected and hurt so uh someone also tricked you like someone was uh, tricking you with something because this is a magician as a challenge it could be a aries person pisces not pisces sorry aries sun moon rising and uh, what uh, sorry what about the deck is it uh, tar card so something ended suddenly for you and you got shocked because um, you had built a lot on this and it's shocking now wheel of fortune let's see what is what is this wheel of fortune about for pisces sun moon rising so wheel of fortune is a uh, again a aries person or someone who is very proud someone who uh, uh, who looks up, like who supervises other people someone uh, with uh, someone uh, also you this is a pisces card so someone moving really slow like a earth energy and a, uh, even an emotional person so someone very proud also selfless and emotional someone who is working slowly towards something so you are working towards something and you want to grab something like uh, you want to get hold of something and you are uh, a little bit amb ambitious as well even though you don't have much you want to uh, have something and you are looking up so that is what i am getting here there is something spiritual as well in the background i also feel here that uh, you could be dealing with a authority figure uh, from uh, court or something like that like a school ace of cups something at workplace ace of cups and uh, self uh, like nurturing and giving something happened at workplace uh, with respect to this ace of cups like new love someone or uh, some of you found love at uh, workplace or someone uh, you uh, you were nurturing caring uh, or someone was uh, like a taurus person was nurturing and caring uh, it gave you some sleepless nights yes uh, this uh, ace of cups was uh, uh, two of cups so someone reciprocated your feelings and uh, you had mutual feelings 
you are uh, thinking about something here so in past uh, it left you a little bit puzzled and uh, you were trying to create a nest or you were trying to heal some something someone was trying to heal something what is this um, this card came out again which is a healing card so i think you are going to heal okay so 10 of wands again so guys i already described you the 10 of wands you already feel that you are burdened you feel you have too much on your plate you don't feel like every anyone is helping you out but, uh, in carrying that burden so you you are sticking to yourself this is the same uh, killing whale like you can see here the same whale and you are holding on to yourself like you are clutching yourself and uh, hugging yourself and this card is being clarified by like the hangman is being clarified by the uh, sleeping uh, rabbit which is about a uh, healing so you are trying to heal yourself from a uh, three of sword because three of sword and then four of sword you are trying to heal yourself give me a uh, more clarification of why is what is spicy sacrificing what is this hangman about okay so it is about um a karmic uh, relation uh, or a karmic bond first of all that and then you have to now decide where you want to go you feel a little bit trapped and you feel that uh, you now you have to make a choice between um, whether how to move forward so you are feeling stuck right now and you are in your head making that choice like all these cards are about being stuck this is uh, you healing yourself this is you taking a retreat just um, uh taking a step back and then uh, this is also uh, look at the card you know you have to move forward but uh, you will go within first to make the list of, uh, like where do you want to go and then the temperance here so you can be dealing with a sagittarius or someone around you has to do all these things so you are uh, trusting the divine with temperance you don't want to um, you don't want to overextend yourself or you don't want to underextend yourself so you are trying to keep the balance and like i said uh, this is six of cups so there uh, there was a some karmic uh, uh, there was a com some karmic uh, uh, thing that was going on now what is this uh, four of pentacles who is not opening up and why who is not sharing who is why is pisces uh, holding back may 2018 sun moon rising four of pentacles is being clarified by four of pentacles and three of swords like i said pisces you don't want to open up because you have already been betrayed and uh, you can't take it anymore and uh, like it's as if you know what is coming is it it's as if people are here trying to uh, show you what the reality is and people are here trying to uh probably this is even happening because uh, you get so uh, lost and you get so confused and you uh, want to uh, not believe in reality which is very common with pisces you uh, don't want to live in the real world you want to just be in your own world like i said you went out of your comfort zone you went into this dream land somewhere and you uh, now you once you got uh, hurt you don't want to step in that same water again like uh, you are hurt and you are afraid uh, you are scared to open up and look at this four of uh, pentacles so this is again a rabbit so like i said rabbit is all about alice in wonderland that, that rabbit hole that she fell in so you don't want to fall in that rabbit hole again you don't want to um, or you are scared of it now you don't want to dream a beautiful dream you just want to be like okay fine i'll stick with reality and i i want to work from my logic sword is all about uh, logic so you want to be clear as clear as possible you want the truth you want the facts and uh, someone is probably trying to approach you who is a uh, who is loving towards you who wants to offer you something um, it can be a water sign uh, how you come up in your reading as the mother of swords so uh, let's see mother of swords and moon guy what is this mother why is pisces behaving so harsh <laughs> your card pisces so this is you definitely um you are uh, acting so harsh because of your emotions because look at this person she is holding a heart like her hand is on a heart and uh, she is like uh, almost like oh god uh, i can't uh, have so much feelings and i can't uh, deal with so much feelings and uh, there is some mysterious thing is uh, mysteriousness also going on some secrets 
like you're not sharing your emotions as well and this mother of sword is about someone who is not caring about the emotions anymore give me more clarity on this card what is this secrecy or emotions about what is pisces holding back so pisces you are uh, holding back from a connection you are holding back uh, from a communication you are uh, holding back from a uh, union this is you trying to stay in control of your emotions this is you trying your best to uh, uh, be mature about your emotions this is you trying to get hold of your emotions so there is a union some of you are dealing with and you are trying to keep a balance or the world is trying to keep a balance because uh, don't forget you have this card uh, which is it will move when it has to move it won't move uh, when you will feel like it is go it will go the way it has to go so uh, the justice card here is saying whatever is happening is happening regardless of what you want and how you want it so there is some communication and you are being harsh or you are uh, just uh, being very factual in it you are not getting emotional what is uh, two of swords here so someone here who is a new love or someone who is here okay so this card is the same as this card someone around you who is a new opportunity this person uh, has a choice to make uh, i don't know about the choice but what the choice is about but it can be about something related to work or it can be about uh, someone putting in effort or not putting in effort or they deciding to uh, choose this or not like this ace of cups uh, and again the balance card so they them deciding if they want to reciprocate or they don't want to reciprocate or if they want to keep it in um, keep things in balance or not so so far there has been a certain balance that is being uh, maintained here because 2 8 and 6 uh, it's all balanced number and also this person is uh, has a uh, five of cups as well so you are either crying about this person or this person is crying over you both of you are crying because you have the same card in the center of the reading so someone is grieving a loss here sorry about the train guys <clears throat> you fear that uh, you fear that if you will start something new or if you will start building something new it would uh, be uh, something that uh, you have just uh, got done with like uh, something that will hold you back or something that will uh, that would not uh, work for you like it will uh, it will take a toll on you in a way that you will become uh, addicted to it or something of that sort you are afraid of some sort of addiction uh, or codependency or something like that and uh, um, you are hoping for a message and someone is uh, stalking probably uh, you are hoping that sun will shine and uh, things will be okay uh, and you are uh, you are afraid of something like you are in your head making things up and uh, you are uh, not um, you're not believing in yourself some of you you don't believe that or uh, some of you are waiting for a leo person i also feel here that the person around you uh, they can be uh, try uh, someone is also trying to uh, divide their uh, profit into uh, to 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 half like uh, like if you are uh, going out with someone they want to split the bills something of that sort uh, and uh, someone around you is working also like uh, very focused on their craft uh, some of you are waiting for a capricorn person what is this uh, what is this uh, nine of wands in the by the end of the month for the pisces what is pisces fighting for what is pisces fighting for you are fighting your demons pisces <laughs> and you are being very very patient you are fighting and uh, you are okay so this is high priestess you are listening to yourself you are listening to the gut instincts you keep you are uh, putting up a battle you are putting up a fight uh, for something that you believe in and uh, this is a nine of 
sort so you are up at night thinking about something working on something or just uh, doing something uh, at night and you are just up at night because uh, this is a card of nervousness you are nervous about something and both of these are nine nine of wands nine of swords so something is wrapping up for you uh, you also feel very attractive or someone around you is uh, like a leo aries uh, sagittarius who is very focused on you or they can be very very attractive uh so someone is there like you feel like um you need to start something like you need to put start working on your vision or your idea you have to have lot of courage to do all that because uh you you also need to have lot of vision like you have to have trust in your vision lot of courage in your own self to begin this thing so look at the lion here which is making you very nervous because uh you need to have all that courage and you have to keep your patience as well so courage patience and lot of hard work and uh, uh, so that was your reading pisces now i'll pull out i forgot to pull out uh, a blockage card for uh, the aquarius reading uh, but let's see what are the blockages coming in for the sign of pisces for the month of may 2018 sun moon rising pisces pisces completion you are not letting something end like something uh, ended for you you have to accept it you need to move forward you already know you need to move forward you already know you need to expand uh, this all healing work that you are doing it's because you know that you have to move forward and you can't keep feeling betrayed and you can't keep feeling hurt and accept that things do happen the way they happen accept it be okay with it don't don't get scared and if some of you are on a spiritual journey on a quest uh like i said some of you have a, a spiritual thing going on uh, give me advice card for pisces advice for pisces advice for pisces may 2018 new birth guarded vigilantly so something ended you feel like you are someone uh, who has to be born again someone who has to look after yourself and look at your growth again and you are guarding it vigilantly like you are very um, aware of who is coming who is going who is doing what because you don't want to be hurt again and uh, you feel like you want to be stable and you want equal uh, give and take two and four like equal equal and four is about stability uh, here bottom of the deck here is free from judgment free to love you you are uh, focusing on loving feelings and uh, you don't uh, i don't know you want to be carefree uh, you don't uh, you don't want to be um, this is your advice so you should uh, trust uh, people world uh, you need to have faith uh, more faith and uh, that was your reading so i see i hope you had uh, like you resonated with it and uh, it actually uh, such readings scare me a lot because i am a pisces myself and uh, i don't know like I I don't know. I'll see you again next month Pisces. Bye bye and take care.